After 23 years of officiating, Janice Kazue has ended his career with the last dance as referee of a Week 18 fixture of the MTN Super League on Saturday, January 7, 2023. Upon his entrance in the stadium, Sikazwe got a guard of honor from players and fellow officials. On a banner carried by referees was written and I quote, Janice Sikazwe, thank you for putting Zambia on the world map. God bless you. End of quotation. Before he blew the whistle to start the game, he was given a standing ovation from the spectators, both teams and other match officials. As the game was unwrapping, Napsa stars enjoyed some swift play displaying dribbles that found Simon Nkata who connected with a beautiful close-range strike, sending the boy into the right corner of the net to make it 1-0 in favor of Napsa Stars in the 11th minute. Red Arrows, however, did not go to sleep as they continued being persistent with Benedict Chepeshi delivering a superb cross that failed to connect to his teammates and landed straight into Mokwanya's palms after 22 minutes played. Augustin Mulenga almost extended the lead when the ball landed in his feet after a confusion in Red Arrows' half but could not precisely shoot on goal as it went slightly wide in the 68th minute. He however redeemed himself just three minutes after this, scoring from a tight angle when Red Arrows goalkeeper Charles Kalumba failed to communicate with his defenders in the 71st minute to make it 3-1 in favor of Napsa Stars. The win has put Napsa Stars up the log to the 9th position with 24 points, while Red Arrows has dropped to 6th position from feet, remaining with 27 points. This remains Gianni Sikazu's final MTN Super League game after officiating two FIFA World Cups, five Africa Cup of Nations, under-17 and under-20 FIFA World Cups, the FIFA Club World Cup, among other tournaments. Cosmos Chongo Mlinga, Diamond Sports.